I'm David Mon, and today I'm going to show you three ways to bring holiday garlands into your home. This year I'm doing an all painted monochromatic theme. I love monochromatic themes because I think they give us a lot of freedom. This also would be really beautiful if you were to use green boxwood and the green moss and then have all of the fruits be red. I want my garland to have direction and I started with one and I ran it to the left side of the table and then I started on the other side and ran that to the right side. When I started with this shape, I put my bowl on the table and under the bowl I put uh, just a little block so that once we keep layering that we have beautiful heights. I have filled this bowl with nothing more than a paper bag. When I'm using fruit in an arrangement of any kind, I think it should always look natural as though it has just somewhat been gathered. You know, I've used real grapes here and obviously fresh fruit is expensive, but I have absolutely no problem and I do use very, very often faux fruit. This particular garland I'm using Grinling Gibbons, it was an English carver, as the inspiration. And the theme is once we've put it all, everything all together, it's all painted one color monochromatically. I'm using this very inexpensive garland. What's great about it is that I can twist and tie a lot of elements into it. Just simply wind it all through, filling in the spaces. There's nothing that has to be precise about this. You want it just to be sort of full, nature's bounty. One of the things that I'm also doing is I'm giving things in different directions. Nothing should ever be in one direction. For this garland, this is just a real old-fashioned white Christmas. But the little difference that I did was I took fruits and other greens and I sprayed them silver and gold. So it's just an ombre of these beautiful shades. In this particular application, I took a garland and I laid it on the top of the piece of furniture rather than swagging it so that it just gave this beautiful sort of halo. And then the last little tip, I added just a little bit of these holly leaves that I sprayed with gold glitter just to give a little sparkle. 